Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. Today I want to talk to you guys about something that might blow your mind. Did you know that sniper scopes are not legal in California? Let's talk about it. Now before we get started, I just want to say a quick thank you for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button. If you have an extra second, hit the thumbs up button. That would be fantastic. And I want to say thank you to the USCCA as well for sponsoring this channel and my other channel. The USCCA is one of the best memberships that you could have. I've been a member for about five years now. You get self-defense liability insurance. You get a great magazine. You get all sorts of online training, education. You get a, a reciprocity map and a lot more. So check out the USCCA below. Okay, so let's just go ahead and dive right into this before you guys take that vortex off and go bury it out in the backyard. In California, one of the most important things to pay attention to is definition. The definition of something in California is so important that the California politicians actually use it in order to make something that is previously unregulated regulated. They simply change the definition of it, falls under a new category, that category is regulated and so forth, so definition is key here. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you directly from Penal Code 468, and this will explain to you what they are considering a sniper scope in California. So here it says, as used in this section, sniper scope means any attachment device or similar contrivance designed for or adaptable to use on a firearm, which through the use of a projected infrared light source and electronic telescope and electronic telescope enables the operator thereof to visually determine and locate the presence of subjects during the nighttime. That is what they're calling it. So for people who just keep saying over and over and over, oh, you can't have A, B, or C because you can't have scopes in California, it's, that's not necessarily true. As you heard directly from that penal code right there, it really kind of goes after night vision. Now, I do want to mention real quick that I'm not a lawyer. This should not be considered legal advice. I look at everything. I read everything. I read you the penal code, but I read it in layman's terms. I understand and comprehend it in layman's terms as well, and I don't understand the subtle nuances of certain things. But still, you can read it verbatim and kind of get a basic idea of what they're looking for. So now I'm sure there's people that are wondering, well, we kind of went from the fire to the frying pan, right? If that's not legal, does it mean that I can't have a helmet mounted optical device? Can I have a PVS-14? Can I have nods? Can I have a handheld thermal device or infrared device? You know, something that's not designed to be directly mounted. Can I have that? And everything that I see says, yes, those seem to be perfectly legal. As a matter of fact, you could use those in conjunction with something like this. So for instance, this is just, you know, standard daytime, nothing fancy at all, just has magnification, right? If I were to drop down a PVS-14 behind that and I were to look through it nighttime, that would still be legal because the actual night vision part is designed for a helmet or to be handheld. It's not designed to go onto a rail, so that wouldn't fall under that penal code. So I can use the two in conjunction, but I can't have anything that was designed or intended to be mounted. That's kind of the key thing right here. So let's just go ahead and circle back real quick and try and clear up people's confusion, make this video not super long. So again, the daytime stuff is perfectly fine. All your magnified daytime stuff is good. And for some reason that doesn't fall under the definition, which is kind of weird to me, but it's California. The other thing is it has to meet all three criteria. It's not just one or the other. It has to have one or two in order to meet the the criteria in 468 no it has to have all three in order to qualify so it has to be designed or intended to be mounted or if you are somebody who mounts one just you know finds a way to mount it use a bunch of duct tape or something uh that that would probably be the same thing i am assuming uh but it has to be designed or intended to be mounted it has to have some type of uh infrared or thermal illuminating device it has to have magnification for instance, if it has no magnification, it doesn't qualify. So it has to have all three. If it has the other two, mountable, iron illumination, but no magnification, doesn't qualify. That's one of the two has been erased, so therefore it seems to be good to go. According to how I read that code, it looks like all three have to be met in order for it to qualify. And so I find it really interesting. But when you when you kind of take a look at the topic overall and you, you read the, the, the big headline that, you know, that sniper scopes, no good, can't have them in California, immediately your mind goes to something like a vortex, right? But apparently that's not what it is. It's uh, something completely different and just another way to confuse everybody into just behaving. So that's, 
it, it's terrible. It really is. But hopefully maybe now you have a little bit of a, a better understanding of exactly what that means. If somebody brings it up to you and says, oh, hey, did you know you couldn't do this or you couldn't have this or you couldn't do that? Uh, now you at least have that basic understanding where you can say, no, you can, it just can't be this. And so that's why I'm making this video, just to kind of educate you so that you know what you're walking around in, in in the state of California. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.